Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anurudh and today in this JavaScript tutorial, I will show you what is research event. This event is very important and very useful event and in this video, I will show you the syntax of this event and the purpose of use of this event. So now I will go to the HTML file. So this is HTML file and here I am assuming you know the basic HTML structure. Here I have already added one div. So inside this div, I have written hello and I have taken one ID which is div as well. By the way, this ID name you can write as per your choice. And now I have taken this ID as a reference and here in the same file, I have written one style for this ID. Okay. So this is the ba very basic style and when I'm writing style, so I, I am, I have written inside the head tag and inside the head tag, I have taken one style tag and inside this, I have written style. So here I'm assuming you know this thing and now I will show you in the preview how it is looking like. So here you can see my design is looking like this. So now what is the resize event? Resize event means now I will just inspect and I will open the console and after opening just simply here in this icon you have to click and after that just simply you have to drag like this way. So here you can see uh, my window means my device just reducing the size here you can see it is reducing the size if again if i expand so it is increasing the size okay increasing and decreasing here you can see even from here if you click this drop down here you can choose different different device like suppose if i choose iphone 12 pro so in iphone 12 pro how my design will look like here i can see okay so same way you can choose the responsive and just simply drag and drop and if you choose the iphone AC. So here you can see the size. iPhone AC size is 375 width. Okay, means iPhone AC this device size is 375. And now here I, if I choose iPhone 12 Pro, so the size is 390. So this way you can see uh, how your design will look like in different different viewport. Otherwise, you can just select the responsive and you can drag and you can uh, here you can select the 100 percent and after that you can drag like this way even here you can put the number iphone pro we notice 375 something like that so we can just add the number and we can click the outside so it will look like this so now the point is in define define viewport if you want to change the design okay so that time we use the window resize event like when we'll drag this one so that time this design will change suppose i want to do like this so that time we can use window resize event why window research because here you can if you notice i'm just dragging the entire window so that's why the event we have to write like window research so here i will go to the file and i will come to the javascript this is inside the script tag and now here the syntax is like i have to write window then dot then research okay on research on research so here in the third number it is showing the suggestion so from here i'll choose i'll just press the enter and it will come here and after that i have to write the equal then function because this is the function and now parenthesis and this one so now uh, what i'll do when i'll resize my window so that time suppose i want to change this deep background color now it is red you can see now but i will change this background color something different color okay so here i will write first of all document because this uh, div inside the document i already said entire page is called document okay so document dot get element by id because those are called element this body this head those are called element okay and from this element i want to take this id as a reference like when I have written the CSS, here you can see I have taken this ID as a reference. So same way when I will write in JavaScript, so that time I need something for the reference purpose. So I will take the ID for the reference like how I have taken for CSS time. So here I will write get element by ID, then inverted comma and then I will take this ID. Don't be confused here because I have written ID name and this tag name is same. So don't be confused here, here I'm taking this ID name, whatever ID name you will write here, suppose you, if you write here the ID name is div1 and here I will write div1 because here div1 and here also div1. 
okay so now here i'll just change the style and i'll keep it d1 here because it it won't create a confusion okay so now here i want to change the background color so background color if you notice it comes under style right so here i have to write dot style then dot background color okay by the way for the background color you can write background even you can write background color both here you can see it is showing background and here it is showing the suggestion is background color you can see so anyone you can write so here i will write the background color whether you can write the simple background okay that will be workable also so now here you can see uh, the background color when i have written in the css so that time if i write background color so i have to write using hyphen between background and color but in javascript we don't write using hyphen okay we write using a camel camel case so that one you have to remember so here background color equals to uh, earlier it was green uh, sorry red means initially it was red now i will write here any other color name which is green by the way if you want you can write a different color okay save now i will go to the browser and just simply i will come here and i will refresh now i will click this icon again here you can see this icon and see when again i will re refresh so initially the color is red if i just drag see color is changing right so this way you can create your design and you can add the different look of your design i hope this video is clear if you have still any doubt you can write in the comment section i will try to solve your doubt if you find this video helpful so please like this video also subscribe my channel to get more update in javascript